hey guys, Big Creek Sue is here. Um, back with another Lego Star Wars, well, just Lego video today. Um, I haven't posted in a while, and you'll see why in a moment. But, um, sorry. But that's all I have really to say. Although I have been going on a Instagram building spree. Example, here's one of my favorite pieces of work. My Instagram uh, it's the same name as my channel, so if you want to check that out, you can. Um, I couldn't care less if you didn't, though. Um, but anyway, uh, I got a huge haul recently. Two huge hauls. One of them is a massive minifig haul, and another one was a massive actual Lego collection haul. Both which I got a really good deal on. Um, but putting that aside, I have managed to make most of the minifigures and so i'm going to here to showcase whatever i got um but just before it starts i want to show you the big bucket of parts i have not managed to use to make more figures so as you can see there's quite a few parts and i'll be doing a giveaway soon for 50 subs so you might be getting some parts or a figure or figures I don't know I don't care but anyway starting off just by seeing it we have mr. pig from Toy Story is he? Oh, I don't know what he's called okay yeah um next up rock riders or is it Rock Raiders? No, it's um Power Miners. Rock Raiders is the like two thousands one. Um, next up, very generic Batman. Couldn't care less. Uh, here's one I didn't actually get in the halls. Um, this is Edna Mode. I got her um a relatively long time ago. So I just decided to throw her into the pile. Um. Let's have a look. We have this Toy Story Green Army Man. Couldn't care less. Um, here's a Snort Trooper. Why not? Oh, I think yeah, it's a plain black head underneath. That gets to stand up because it's a Star Wars fig. And I got quite a few Star Wars figs. And the next one is a Tantai 4 Rebel Trooper, which I believe came in a battle pack. Because there was multiples of this guy in here. And I got another 501st battle pack recently. So, there's the Jet Trooper. One 501st Trooper. And two 501st Troopers. And three 501st Troopers. So I got those guys. Uh... Next up, we have whatever this guy is from Next of Night, I think. Um, next up, we have like 2010 Kai. It's an old right figure. Um, here we have 2010 to 2012, I think, Harry Potter. Um, do not. Yeah. Next up, we have. Here we go. Chewbacca. And why not? Uh, this is my third one of this version now, because he's very common. Uh, next up, we have Sheriff Woody with like this weird printing. I absolutely hate these figures, and the newer ones aren't that great either. Uh, next up, we got Bash Girl, and I looked her up, and I realized she has full leg printing, and it's a dual molded legs. She has arm printing as well. And she came in a 25 euro set. That's crazy to me. But she's okay for a figure. Uh, here we have this guy. He's from the Lone Ranger. And I think he's worth three bucks. I don't know. Uh, next up. No introductions needed. Next up. This guy from the Lone Ranger. I don't know. What the Lone Ranger? I, I have never watched it. Okay, um, comment who this guy is. I don't care. 
about him really. Although it's still kind of cool, I have a few Lone Ranger figures in my collection now. Um, next up we got do 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 Indiana Jones, excellent figure. Um, first one of the normal ones, surprisingly. I think I got two in this, and there's a third one that I haven't made yet. So that's one, and that's two. So he deserves to stand up. Oh, uh, here we have. The elf from like serious something I don't know. Um, the green looks slightly off in or on my camera. That happens. I don't know what's wrong with it. I have to fix that. Um, this is one of those mummies from like Pharaoh's Quest that you got in like that ten euro set. Couldn't care less. Uh, we got a keychain next. If that really qualifies as a figure. Um, it's that pirate from like 2013. It's like a pirate team. Uh, next up we have Yoda. With um, grey hair. He has a, this is, yeah, this is the grey hair Yoda. This one actually came in the, the AAT. So that's nice, and I don't have a grey hair Yoda yet. And I think I said I had four or five of the white haired one, all the same torso design. So that's really nice to get him. Next, next up, we have um, I think his name is Lennox. I already have him. I, I think Chima overall is actually a good theme. It's well, only the first one in two waves, after that, it's just bad. I don't have this one either. Um, generic Spider-Man. I already have two of them. I need to wash those legs. That's kind of disgusting. I think. Um, no, sorry. I have a few of my own collection figures in here. So I'm just trying to remove those. Here we have Bart Simpson with like a cape. I don't know. That's the one from, um... I don't know. I don't watch him, so I don't care. But still, that's kind of cool to get him. Got another Power Miners guy. And there's a, there's a third one, but he was missing his head, so I didn't include him in it. Uh, I always like those. I don't know where that went. Whatever. Um, we have Zane. I got a bunch of these 2010 Ninjago figures. So that was kind of cool. Uh, next up we have another one of these. No introduction needed. Uh, try to shuffle these up a bit. Next up we have no introduction needed. City figure. Um, Emmett with the molded hard hat and hair, which I actually really like. He's from the minifigure series. So it's kind of nice to get him. Whoa, sorry. I shoved my camera a bit there. Um, I'm just trying to find this guy's helmet. Um, this is the stunts stunter stuncer. I don't know from one of the minifig series. He's got his little helmet and the kind of funny looking hairpiece. Got a whole bunch of minifig series parts in, or figs in here and parts. Here we have this guy. I think he's the sheriff from the Long Ranger. I just dropped him. Whatever. Couldn't care less. Although I think he's worth 10 bucks. Here we have the jester. Don't care about him at all. Here we have the Lego Ninjago movie Sensei Wu. I think it's the minifigure series one. Um, Not too bad. It was one of the first figures I found. In um the collection of parts, not minifigs. And then we have this Ultron robot. Don't care. Didn't come with the other two that should have came in the set. I think this is the Serious One mime. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a minifigure Serious figure, but I don't know if it's Serious One. Here you have your generic Stormtrooper. Always nice to get those. Apparently they go for like five bucks. Uh, another generic Stormtrooper. 
um, this Knight's Kingdom knight. The old, that really old theme, I don't know what it's called. Um, Pirate. Uh, oh yeah, Indiana Jones, uh, World War II German soldier. There was two more, but I do, can't find their little uh, hats. So I'm going to try and order parts to restore some of these figures. Otherwise, I'm just going to use the parts for painting. Um, so Ninjago 2010 skeleton. Here's actually a really good find that I forgot to mention. Here is um, Bumblebee. And I found her um, pot. But I don't know where I put that, so now I'm really hating myself. Because she's worth more with the pot. But she's worth about 30 bucks. So that was a really cool find. So I'm going to leave her standing because she's worth tons. Oh. Hey. Um. Another one of these guys. Oh, uh, let's see. Tantai 4 Trooper. Told you there was more of these guys. Pump down nicely. Um, this Chima guy. The head underneath is put on terribly. Um, oh yeah, here's one of those, um, Toy Story, uh, alien guys. As you can see, they both have, like, different paint stains and stuff. I think they came with the share of Woody in some set. Um, here is the... I don't know. Is he a wrestler? I don't think so. I think he's like that buff guy from like series 18 or 17 or something. I couldn't find his barbells. Uh, she's from a creator set, I think. And her side of the torso looks kind of chewy. That's disgusting. Um, another Zane. She's a Zane. She was from the Knights. Thing. Oh, I don't know. I have this guy. I think he's called Montag from the old Quidditch set. I found um, parts for the other player and I found parts for Harry Potter, but they didn't have the capes, so I didn't make all of them. Speaking of Harry Potter, here's another Harry Potter. I don't want introduction needed. Here's a swamp monster from. I, what what's it called? Um, Monster Fighters. I already have him actually, and it's the only one I ever had. He has Celebration Luke. It's actually not a bad figure, and I'm kind of happy I got him with uh, the minifigure haul. Yeah, the minifigure haul. Um, just a little faded there on the mouth. Still pretty nice to get him because I did. Oh. Uh, I didn't have him before, and I kind of wanted him. This is a Robin that came with a Catwoman from before, and he has molded or do molded legs as well and arms. So, uh, well, I think this. Hold on, let's have a look. Yeah, this is dual molded as well. What the hell, Lego? You can dual mold this for a twenty-five set, but you can't dual mold for like clones and stuff, or play, print on the arms for clones and stuff. But anyway, here's Wild Style. Um, no introduction to it. I didn't find her um little zip thing. Couldn't care less. Um, Jay. Uh, I'm trying to leave all the like uh Star Wars until last. Here we have Harry again. Uh, here we go. Um. I had my confirmation re recently. I don't know if that was important. But, um, my friend gave me a random packet for it and I got Green Lantern. So that's kind of nice. I already have Green Lantern and he's in the background back there. But, um, still, it's kind of nice. I might trade with him if I can because I'm missing Cheetah and Huntress. That's what. Names are this hospital guy. I just look up most of these on Bricklink to be able to find their parts. This guy, uh, Kai. 
one of the halls is like like really old. I found nineteen seventy six figures in it, like two of them only though. Um, actually, I forgot about these. I found these in um the like collection hall instead of the minifig hall. All these mini 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 figs. Okay, I'll put them there. But I collected all of those. Um. This is that Star Wars. I guess this is a technician. Uh, he came in the Endor bunker and I think on the Death Star. And this, um, the minifig haul I got came with figures from the Endor bunker, which I'll show you in a moment. Which is actually one of them is Chewbacca there. Uh, speaking of Chewbacca, here's another Chewbacca. Uh, put him over there. Oh my god, what the hell. Um, anyway, here is ZX, ZX, Zane. Something X, Zane. Because he has that robes. I can look him up on Berklink. Um, this is a Batman from, I think, the Lego movie. Um, SpongeBob. This is Squidward. I actually really happy I got him because I really like that uh, mold. Oh, got Patrick. No SpongeBob though, but still got Patrick. Um, Iron Man in. I have no idea what mark that is. I don't care. I'm not into Avengers too much. This guy, um, he's from Pirates, and I had to look him up on Bricklink, but he's worth ten bucks. Doesn't really look like he would be worth ten bucks, but still, he's worth ten bucks. So thank you very much. Here's another Harry. I think this is the fourth one now, of the exact same one. Um, here's another pirate. Here is this mummy. Comment down below where he's from. I have no idea. Can't remember. Here's the actual Lone Ranger himself. Whatever, I don't care. Um, got the ugly bug from what was it called? Galaxy Squad. Uh, this guy, he's from the Lego Ninjago minifigure series because I already have him actually. And he is, he's actually in the background, uh, in here somewhere. Uh, Robber, couldn't care less. Another Batman. I have like maybe thirty different Batmans now. This I have already this one. Um Sand Trooper. Um with the white pauldron, not the orange one. I could make the orange one, except I don't have the orange pauldron, so I need to order that before I make them and show them off. Um hold on. Sorry. I have this shark guy from, I think, Atlantis. And there's a bunch of Atlantis, but I didn't make them. Because, you know, I don't even care. Um, I have this Scarecrow. I think he's from Series 16. I might be wrong on that. Um, let's see what else is left. This is from uh, Aqua Raiders. Don't care. Um, here is Catwoman. She's actually be the. Hold on. She actually didn't go through a gap. Oh, she has arm printing. What the hell, Lego? And then there's. This guy? Don't care. This guy? Don't care. Oh, I'm trying to get all the non Star Wars. Uh, the Yeti. I always like this figure. I already have one in the background there. Um, here's another Toy Story Army Man. Police Officer Man. And it's like one of those crooks from the Ninjago movie. That's a lot of minifigures. Um, okay, now we're going to get into the good stuff. I'm going to leave the best for last. So, starting off, 
were probably the least exciting ones. We have a Stormtrooper. And this is like the old 2005 one because of um, the helmet printing there. So we'll leave him there. There's this guy. He's from the Endor bunker. Uh, and then there's also the other guy that came in it as well. Um, here's old Ben. I never had an old Ben. I don't even have the newer one. But I will be getting it soon, I think, from his hut. Um, here's an interesting one. Uh, here's the uh, Endor bunker layer. Which is actually kind of nice, I guess. So we'll put her over there. Um, next we have General Kenobi. With the Clone Wars style face, I guess. Um... I don't see how people like this, or dislike this even. It's more accurate to put this on than the actual, like, in, like, real life one, if they were to make the figure. Because this is much more accurate. So for that, I kind of like it. Uh, we have two of the Super Battle Droids with the arm. And what's really unfortunate is, um, I have another one with the same arm. Guess what? The clip was uh, loose and it broke while I picked it up in my hand. So I'm gonna have to super glue that or get a newer one. Oh, yeah, and you can see the baldroids back there. But um, now we're gonna start getting into the really cool stuff. That's an Arstron Trooper. It's an Arstoka. Now I saved like all the clones for last. I didn't get too many clones. Although I got a bunch of pieces. For clones, uh, actually, I'll show the helmets and pieces off first, which I'm going to try and restore. Um, got the ugly clone heads, which are actually accurate. Um, I have that, I have this, um, I have a gunner helmet, I have, uh, I'm just trying to hide that box, I have this on. I have a RF Trooper helmet, which is my first one. I have a Commander Gree helmet, and I didn't even find a body or legs for him, which is really annoying. Um, got the Episode 3 playing clone helmet. Uh, I have my Commander Nao helmet. I actually, I've, I've owned this since the very beginning, but I lost his body in Torso, so I'll have to reorder those. Um... And then, what I'm really or happy about is I have three of these clone helmets from the Clone Wars, which, I, which is my favourite clone to be ever made. Because they're so cool. And I already have, like, five in the display right now. And I'm trying to get, like, ten first. But then, I have two actual clones. <laughs> now, these came with the haul, so... I have three more, so technically you got five when you think about it. I have um Hork, Horn Company. Horn? Yeah, Horn Company. Horin? Horn? Horn Company. Yeah, Horn Company. Um, Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Yeah, that's two of them. Um, now, my favorite figures of the whole lot of them. And there is a lot of figures here. Um... I have the Asajj Ventress from the gunship, and I have a Commander Cody from the gunship. And I am really happy about this, because I didn't know that either of these came in the hall, and the hall was a good deal anyway, in the pictures, but I had no idea these would be in it, and I was really happy. So now I'm gonna just cut the camera to show you everything I got. And so anyway, here is the rest of my, well, these are all my figures that I got in that very haul. And I don't know how many there is, it will say in the title, but I'm pretty sure this is about maybe 60 figs. And of course we have these clones, and I have Cody, and I have Ventress over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, of course, got the 501st Battle Pack, which I actually never built, 
I have it in um, this little Lego bag with all the parts and the sticker manual. I might give that away, although I'm planning to make a gunship, which actually, um, the parts haul that I got, it came with parts to make a gunship, like, thir 2013 gunship, so I'm gonna try my hardest to restore that, like, my really hardest, because I paid a really good amount of money, and I would think I could pay a bit more to just get it restored, but that was always quite nice, and... Well, I'm sorry if this video was a little, lo ugh, little long. Do you know what? I'm not sorry. But, um, thanks for watching anyway. Um, I have a new intro and outro, that, which will play at the start and the end of the video, of course. Um, I also credit the music to, um, Eckhart's Ladder, which has the exact same one, but he also credited it to someone else. But that doesn't matter, because he uses it. And... Check out my Instagram. It's good. I post regularly. Like, I have my clone Blaze Trooper. And I have my Darth Baby Yoda. and Or Brickheads, anyway. And I have my custom Bark Speeder. And all that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'll probably be doing a giveaway soon. So make sure you subscribe and repair for that. Well, I'll see you later, guys. Peace out. Bye.